Not bad. Yeah. Not bad, Ronnie. <laughs> the Romeos are a group of men who have as their basis a memory, a history. And although we don't dwell or delve nostalgically or, you know, wax sentimental, we do have this bond. We know each other for about 50 years, and probably that has an importance right there, that there's something historical about us. We try to get together every Wednesday night, and it's something I look forward to. Um, it's, uh, it's an appointment, uh, and at 7 o'clock on Wednesdays, I make it a point to uh, join the other guys uh, who I've known for many, many years. There's Weber. I would say that this serves a very uh, important purpose in terms of past and present, in terms of structure and being free form in our lives. It's just a bunch of guys getting together, discussing things that happened during the week, discussing personal things. I was with girls all the time. <laughs> It's, a, it's an open group, basically, you can say whatever you want. Stop. Did you see the situation? What do you mean stop? What is stop? Let me finish. A, any ABB, remember that? Anyone, anybody but Bush. Yeah, what block are we? It's no country for old men. Well, I think that the, the group meeting enhances everybody's potential longevity because you, you, you're going forward and you're always having a goal of, of a future existence and meeting. So I think that, that keeps your mindset from dwelling on the degenerative part of life. So I think it's, that's very healthy, but I think the real part of the, the, the fruitfulness of the meetings is that it brings a, a happiness and joy to everybody. <laughs> I don't know if it makes me feel younger, because I always feel young, but I think it certainly, I, at the end of the night, it's an, it's an enjoyable two hours or two and a half hours, and I look back that I certainly enjoyed myself, and this is without exception. In fact, for a bunch of guys over 60, the, the conversation is around 16. It's the nicest thing you could have said to me. Yeah, you guys are all in junior high. Numa, I think, is the key, one of the key elements of, of our group. We want, we want to have laughs and we want to have fun with each other and we want to entertain each other. You, you met her where? On Match. She's a, she's a real estate lawyer. Match.com, an internet Match. dating Real estate I, I lawyer, I went to Yale, I did it for the school, film. big okay. shit, went to last law school. And the pictures weren't bad, she's holding her cat, looked a little sexy, you know? Her description said, and, I, and I'm learning Latin again so I can get more into the Roman literature. She says, and I'd like to learn Latin. I would have dropped this I, shit. I, I get a fucking hot coal. Somebody. I didn't know who he then was. She what says, fantasy were you entertaining? I mean, what are you going to do, have a toga party? <laughs> <laughs> are you crazy? She says, says, and I want to learn Latin and, and from a college. And this is before she knew anything about me. And she has in her profile, from a college professor, maybe I can learn Latin under the sheets. And when I read what? It, oh, that's what the end of the So she writes back, she says, you seem interested. <laughs> Would you like to meet? So I, yes. I see you walking down the stairs. 80. She could hardly get down the street. <laughs> <laughs> Grew up in the Hamptons, privileged and Ooh. all of that. Her old man supports her. All she right. probably doesn't make diddly squat. She looked like she's, oh, I just lost 35 pounds because I was on prednisone. Holy shit. When she came down the steps, she weighs her. Wow. All in black, of course. Black oh. hides everything. Oh, downtown, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she though. comes with her drapes. You know, women come in oh, drapes. Oh. 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 And I kept saying to her, 
is, is this what you're writing? I says, you're taking these characters from history and you're creating this fantasy with them? He says, oh, she says, and I love this guy, and I love Cato. And I love this guy. My main man. Yeah, but Cato, I, <laughs> I thought you were talking about the Green Hornet for me. <laughs> I, I just like the fact that I know people are going to be there and I'm going to have this little oasis from whatever stress or pressure is on in my life or just something that I'll look forward to. I think it's very important to be able to be able to purge yourself of thoughts of, you know, the word poisons come to mind, whether it's poisons of the times that we're living in, or I wish that. But just the idea of speaking and exercising your energy and thoughts are, are very, very nourishing. And once one is nourished, or even nourishes, I think those acts make one younger. I think everybody in his own way not only attends our meetings and makes the meeting uh, an event of vitality, but I think they continue in their life in a very vital way. I mean, taking the same group of guys, same age, average age, I think if you looked over the general population, you'd see a lot more people sitting on park benches, going down the slide of life to the bottom. In fact, uh, if someone talks about death and dying and illness, there's a red flag that's thrown out. So we, uh, we try to avoid uh, those subjects. I mean, it comes up but just within the context, but we don't dwell, we're not downers. I hope no one ever becomes ill or infirmed. I think that would be devastating for the group. That would probably, you know, if one or two people ever got seriously ill, it probably would be hard to show up without them. That's something I don't even want to, that's a personal foul. I don't even want to, flagrant, 15 yards. I don't even want to think about, oh yeah, yeah. Could you imagine this group getting together and, and talking about each, each guy brings together his, his concept of finality. I mean, everybody would walk away shattered. Or maybe the alcohol consumption would increase tremendously. You know, I think everyone would really be having a tough time with that. This actually affords that opportunity to everybody to avoid reality. You want a hot dog, right? Hot dog with salt, mustard, everything. Is it true you use the same oil since 1916? No, no, we don't. It's not the same oil? That's what I, I heard. That's why. I hear that. I heard that's why it tastes so good. What do you remember about Nathan's when we were when you were young? We used to come on the break. I don't know. I on the bun. I remember the hot dog, fifteen cents. I remember working in the mountains. One night, all the guys got in the car. We worked until like ten o'clock at night, and all. It took us three hours. You get here, you go to. From one to two o'clock in the morning, you have a hot dog. Yeah, from the cats. And you came to do that to New York, and then you would go back upstate. Where do I see it going? I, I really think you have to look at these things very existentially. I think you just embrace it. You know, it's like when Max breaks out the Briar's natural ice cream at the end of the meal. You just like taking a spoonful of the ice cream. That's it. It's like a little dessert in our life. First of all, I don't see a table of old people. To me, in my mind, I look back, I almost don't see any difference as 50 years ago. So, it, so it's not people sitting in a nursing home, uh, in the hall of a nursing home, drooling. We do delve into and try to dissect either candidates or issues or sports teams or generalities, whether it's family or children. There's a social, psychological, thread that comes through everything we say. Are we the wisest people in the world? No. Are, should we be listened to? Yes. If not us, who? If not us, who? Because, I mean, we've been around a long time now by, we, I don't feel that way exactly, but we've been around a long time. Who else are we going to go to? We are, we are the mavens. We are the experts. I would say that attention must be paid. Something exotic for next week. Uh, Vinny's uh, red sauce. We did Vinny's already. Hands for cajou. Wednesday night? Yeah, yeah Wednesday yeah. night cajou. 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 Cajou, don't think. Okay, no. good. I think there's also another thing, and there's where I'm probably going way, way over the edge. I think it's a way of viewing the inevitable. I think you reach the, you know, you finish seven decades of life on the planet. It's nice to see that everyone's still alive and healthy and they're there and they get in their car, they take the bus and they show up 
It's reassuring. It's like telling the Grim Reaper, you know what? I'm f***ing stronger than you right now, and I got my buddies, and we'll take you on in half court and full court, and we'll kick your ass. When we get together, we get younger. At Sahara, wishing at Nathan's. Retired older men eating out Wednesdays. The Romeo's, 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 Romeo's.